Hiya, I'm Pimmy, and today I want to tell a bit about prepping fleas. Um, I have uh, indigo dyed tessel fleas, and it's really nice, crimpy fleas, but it is a uh, um, lamb's fleece, so um, it has a bit brittle tips and you can see the little curl on the end that's the curl that you see on newborn lambs the little um, curly fleece they already have um, the milk tips and usually uh, those are uh, a bit matted and a bit brittle so I'm going to take those off because I want to cart uh, this wool and if I uh, cart this as is with the milk tips still on then uh, those will um, uh, when I, I spin the yarn and knit with it then the um, milk tips will come off and give me um, uh, pills in uh, the in the knitted fabric because they're just not as strong as the rest of uh, the staple length. So um, I'm preparing the wool before carding, and that's what I want to show you now. Um, I have here my bin for the the that I have. Um, between my feet and that catches just the, the, the mess and um, the, the tips and the uh, sand that's going to fall out, the dirt that's going to fall out when I open up the lock structure and next to me I have a big bowl with some wool that I already uh, picked open and, and opened up and took the tips off and uh, I'm not going to put this in my lap because then all the dirt will fall out as well. So this is standing next to me. And what I am doing now is just opening up the lock structure because that makes it easier to card them on the hand cards in a bit. And um, I break off the tips. And because it's so weathered and brittle, uh, it just comes off. And I am left with um, a pretty cloud of good quality uh, wool. But I could also get scissors and just clip them off, which is faster. And the other thing I sometimes do oh, here um, is I get a, a dog comb and I comb out the tips and that takes off the 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 delicate part as well and if I now um, comb out the bottom part as well and get rid of uh, any clumps or uh, second cuts that way I have a perfectly um, prepped lock just like you would a flick card and I opened up the, the, the top part and the shorn part and I have um, a lock that I can spin worsted from so um, the staples um, with all the uh, hairs aligned and I can spin from the tip a perfectly worsted yarn but I'm not a worsted spinner I'm more of a woolen spinner so I'm going to card this and another way to uh, open up um, uh, locks is, like I said, the flick card. I don't have um, 
one of the original uh, uh, flick card thingies. I have a, a cat's brush, brush, which is the little hooks. And it's softer than a, a hand card um, teeth or, or a flick card teeth, but it works just as fine. And you need to put something um, on your leg because otherwise you'll uh, flick card straight through uh, your pants. And um, I have an apron, which is not ideal, but um, the sturdier the material, the, the better because you are going to scrape over it uh, with um, the needles, the, the pins of the flick card. And a piece of uh, leather would be nice or something like that. But um, you can put a twist in the lock. That way, that way you'll um, hold everything together and it won't be pulled out by the, uh, the flick card. Same with um, the... Um, call it the comb uh, if you put in the twist uh, in the staple length one twist make it a little bow look like a little bow put your fingers just on there you have something to hold on to and the, the hairs won't be pulled out as easily and um, I am going to brush out the uh, tip and this works best for a fleece that doesn't have the brittle top part. You can see where it's coming, can you see, where it's coming loose but um, this brush is too soft to take it off. Um, so the easiest way for me to do it is uh, by hand and then I open up the bottom part as well by hand and um, I do that way that um, till I have my entire bowl filled or till I run out of patience whichever comes first or run out of time and um, I have a bowl full of uh, f fluffy clean fleece to uh, start carding. Before I start carding, because I spin long draw, I want the fibers to be able to uh, draft smoothly, so I oil the wool. It helps with the long draw to, to make it really smooth and it helps with the carding as well and because I have old cards with leather um, uh, uh, what that um, leather cloth uh, leather backing uh, they don't mind the oil the uh, uh, modern day uh, the the more recent um, uh, cards uh, with a plastic coated uh, carding cloth might not like oil that much but uh, I prefer to spin um, oiled wool so much that I don't really care for my cards opinions and um, well too bad if um, eventually uh, they get ruined because I want to use them and I want to use uh, them the way I want to spin and that's with oiled wool. Um, now there are a lot of things you can use to oil the wool and um, either you can choose a vegetable no, yeah, vegetable. No, um, um, a plant-based uh, or um, an, uh, a plant-based oil or an animal fat uh, to grease it, 
or you can use um, uh, oh words um, yeah uh, um, a synthetic oil is that the word uh, which Every plant-based um, oil will eventually uh, oxidize and dry out, become sticky, and um, some are faster than others. Like linseed oil, which is used as a, a paint as well for wood, that dries pretty quickly, and others are longer, uh, that take longer to dry. But eventually they will uh, oxidize and, and become um, sticky and gummy and um, I use uh, um, synthetic oil um, uh, mineral oil I think that's the word uh, in my case that's a cheap uh, baby oil because I often spin for weaving projects and uh, then I don't finish the yarn as soon as I um, as I've spun it so in finishing I mean um, wash it and wash out the oil that I used for spinning but I'll do that once the cloth is woven because uh, the changes um, the yarn goes through in the first wash, so puffing up of the of the uh, yarn, will happen in the cloth, making my cloth, my woven cloth, um, thick and and um, stretchy and uh, uh, more uh, uh, warm and. Uh, and then if I do that before the weaving but it gives me the problem that um, if I uh, use a, a, a plant-based oil then um, it I might take so long in um, spinning up the, the, the whole uh, weaving lot of yarn and weaving the thing that the uh, oil has become gummy and sticky already, so that's why I use mineral oil. Um, um, the thing I do is, in my big bowl, I'll just put a little bit of oil, a couple of drops, and I massage it through the wool, just enough to uh, make it slide smoothly the fibers slide smoothly but not so much that uh, my hands get really greasy when I uh, handle the, the wool in the carding and it'll yeah it'll be shinier and um, and easier to work with and that's the next step I'll do and that's the the carding but I'm going to fill this bowl up a bit more so I can do the carding video with um, a bit more wool to show. And I, you can see what uh, what I do, the, the steps I do uh, in the carding and I'll be able to repeat them uh, longer. So see you in the next video.